Totems are coming back for chapter two, and now you can evolve your totems to get something better. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the five things you must know about these totem potions, and what you should do if you have a totem that you don't like, you wanna exchange it in order to get something better. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. I'm here to unlock the secrets of the Upland Metaverse. On this channel, you can find everything you need to build your Upland Empire. Expert tutorials, winning strategies, pro tips and tricks, and a lot more. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay ahead of the game. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the Upland Metaverse, that knowledge is truly your most valuable asset. As I mentioned, you have the opportunity to burn one of your totems. In exchange for burning that totem, you will get a new totem. Now, once you've decided that you do want to burn one of your totems, you're going to have to decide which one. Because in combination with burning that one totem, you're going to have to burn one of these evolution potions. And it's important that the potion should match the totem that you have. So, for example, if I have a dragonfly totem, I'm going to also want to have to burn this evolution potion of a dragonfly. Each player can only burn one totem. And with that totem, as I mentioned, you have to burn the evolution potion. Now, technically, it's possible to be burning more than one totem and more than one evolution potion, but as Upland says, only the last one that you burn will be the one that counts. So make sure that you don't waste your totems and waste these potions by burning more than one, because not only will only one of them count, but the other ones that you burn are gone forever. Number two, it's important that the evolution potion matches your totem, because if they don't, you will lose 20 points in the scoring right off the bat. Number three, it's not just the evolution potion that you need, but you also need level up potions. If the color and style of these level up potions that you burn match the totem that you also burned, you will get additional points. The higher you are on the global leaderboard, the better your chances are of obtaining the most advanced totem with upgrades possible in one or more of its traits. Now, if you want a refresher on totems, there's a link in the description below and a link here where you can learn about all of the different totem traits. Number four, now how does the point system work? There are three different levels of these level up potion, one, two, and three, and for each one of them that you burn, you will get the corresponding points. So if you burn a level one, that's gonna be one point, two is two points, and three is three points. Now, if the color of the level up potion matches the color of the totem that you burned, for level one, you will get an additional two points, for level two, an additional three points, and level three, an additional five points. And if the style matches, the exact same thing. An additional two for level one, three for level two, and five for level three. And number five, how can you get these legits? They go on sale in bundles in the Upland store. There's an evolution bundle, which is what you're going to need if you want to burn one of your totems, because this is the only bundle where you have a chance of getting an evolution potion. There's a 50-50 chance of getting it in this bundle. You can see here the prices and contents of all of the different bundles. If you choose not to buy a bundle, you can also purchase these on the secondary market in Variety Legit Shops, which are located all across the metaverse. You can click on the search bar, go to Directory, Shops, and filter according to Variety Legit Shops, and even by different cities. As usual, if you have any questions about totems or anything related to Upland, you can ask your question in the comments.